had a few cases on our unit where it has really um, been apparent that the young adults are a population of their own. Taking care of teenagers and young adults is almost its own specialty. It really, you know, is not really just merely taking care of older children. It's not merely taking care of younger version of older people kind of thing. Young people get um, late onset pediatric cancers and they're affected by early onset adult cancers. What that means that is to treat them well, you need input from both those. This isn't just some extension of pediatrics. This is about pediatricians and medical oncologists working together to deliver the best. In an age appropriate place, where young people will feel comfortable and supported by their own peers and by people that they know are experienced at working with them. So for on the clinical side, um, you know, just the way we're structured, um, you know, you have your Department of Pediatrics and you have your Department of Medicine and I don't know where the cutoff line is, it would depend, but some would say it's 18 or 21 or 24 and we do things this way and we do things this way, yet if we really take a step back, the teen and young adult probably should be done this way and we got to figure out how those two circles in the Venn diagram interact so that it's win-win for everybody. There's already a great system for taking care of adults, there's a great system for taking care of kids and it, is, it isn't just simply having those two groups meld with one another, it's really those two groups have to get together and also create something new specific for young adults. And so really kind of this idea of trying to build an infrastructure that is bringing together what we call two very different silos, pediatric medicine and adult medicine, and bringing it together for the teen and young adult oncology experience.